Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're talking dog versus wolf. Now I have worked with wolves and alpha dogs for many many years now and I felt the need to make this episode as there are many factually incorrect videos circulating on YouTube and the internet right now pitching dogs against wolves. So what is the truth? What is bigger, better and deadlier, dog or wolf? So let's start with the dog. Descended from an extinct line of wolves and manipulated by man to serve them. Huge range in size, from teacup tiny to gigantic. Dogs serve different purposes. Some are bred to herd, some to guard, some to hunt, and some just to look pretty. In order to serve man, certain wolf characteristics were encouraged to be bred from. For example, to guard, only confident dogs were bred from, those who feared nothing and have a fearsome warning bark. <coughs> to herd, the wolves' natural ability to stalk and bring down prey was increased, but this was bred in tandem with extreme responsiveness, reactivity and the ability for control and to please. Otherwise, our sheepdogs would be killing and eating everything they heard. For size, dogs possessing the gigantogene were bred with to create dogs such as Great Danes. But this has come at a huge cost, causing early death, sometimes as young as five or six, due to deformities and the enlargement of internal organs. Ironically, small dogs seem to outlive large dogs, some exceeding 20 years old in some circumstances. That's only the ones who choose not to snap a large dog in the face, otherwise it's game over for those feisty midgets. Some dogs have crushed muzzles, deformities, can't breathe, joint problems, dirty floppy ears and low hips, all designed and created to be that way by man for his own selfish needs. Some dog shows even encourage these deformities and since Victorian times we have seen dogs change and look even more distorted. The most powerful dog's bite cannot exceed a crushing power of 750 pounds per square inch, which is half that of a wolf's. One thing is clear about the dog. It was bred to be a slave to humans, obey us and see us as leaders so we can manipulate their behaviour to our own needs, just as if we were their alpha. Dogs fall easily into this role as they feel secure when they have a leader. And now, the wolf. The modern day grey wolf also is descended from an extinct line of wolves no longer around anymore. They are naturally occurring and are here because of natural selection and nature. They are Mother Nature's balancer, there to pick off the sick, the weak and the elderly. They are there to keep balance in the lower prey species and to help the health of animals worldwide. Wolves are going to be super healthy in comparison to the dog, as nature will pick off the weak wolves, leaving only the strongest. And those with deformities, unfortunately, will die at the wayside. Wolves have a much larger brain than a dog, as they are independent, free-thinking decision makers. Not designed for slavery, they must make life or death decisions to protect their entire pack. Wolves have long limbs and narrow chests, ideal to run at high speeds for long periods of time and to cut through undergrowth and snow. They have erect ears to hear long distances and long healthy muzzles to smell efficiently. Their bite has a maximum crushing power of around 1,500 pounds per square inch, twice that of a German Shepherd. 
They can be tamed by humans, but are never totally enslaved, as their free-thinking independence will always make them unpredictable, as they are constantly wired to look after their own survival and their pack. As a pack, they are extremely powerful, as they work alongside one another as one unit, with one aim only, to defend the pack and to provide food. So who is actually stronger, the dog or the wolf? Some YouTube videos are suggesting that a German Shepherd can take down a wolf. Others show Kangal dogs taking down wolves. One film even shows wolves supposedly submitting to a Kangal dog. So what exactly is the truth? Well, let's first take a look at just what the wolf thinks about the dog. As you can see, wolves are very happy to take and eat dogs on a regular basis. This is usually because of territory and not food. Many dogs tethered up by ropes on a wolf's territory will be removed by the wolf, as they will be deemed as competition. This applies to coyotes and foxes too. Ah, but many of those dogs were rather small, I hear you cry. So what about the notorious Kangal dog bred to defend sheep? against packs of wolves. Well, a singular Kangal dog against a pack of wolves would not stand a chance and would be ripped to pieces. There are many reports of entire flocks of sheep and their Kangal guardians being eaten. There are also YouTube films of singular wolves caught in traps by hunters or tied up, and then the Kangal dogs are set upon them as a huge pack. A wolf does not stand a chance against a pack of dogs, especially if it is unfairly tethered. There are also some dubious films on YouTube showing a singular Kangal supposedly killing a single wild wolf. Firstly, these are Arabic countries, and the wolves out there are smaller than timber wolves in Nordic regions, and only weigh around 18 kilograms, whereas a large male Kangal can weigh up to 66 kilograms. The Iranian wolves, which inhabit Turkey, are also much smaller, and a large male won't get past 30 kilograms, which is half that of a Kangal. A wolf is very timid and generally won't allow itself to get caught by a dog, so I'm inclined to think that in some of these videos that perhaps the wolf might have been injured first by the hunter, perhaps a bullet, and the Kangal dog finished it off. If it was a fair fight between a Kangal dog and a huge North American timber wolf male, then there would be absolutely no competition. The wolf would win every time. The crushing power of the wolf's jaws are simply nothing that the Kangal could fight against. However, the smaller Iranian and Arabic wolves, they're so much smaller. Yes, I could definitely see a Kangal killing one of those. This YouTube video shows wolves supposedly submitting to a Kangal. One thing is obvious from this film is that the wolves are tame wolves, most probably raised as puppies alongside the adult Kangal. 
they are naturally submitting to an alpha male dog who has probably disciplined them since they were very young. One thing for sure is a German Shepherd would absolutely not stand a chance against the wolf. So these videos that are circulating in YouTube, well, in the infamous words of Donald Trump, Fake news! Fake news! The wolf has drive, power, double the crushing power of its teeth against the German Shepherd. Evolution has made it incredibly fit, whereas of course human intervention has made the German Shepherd quite sickly at times. The fight would be nasty, long and bloody, but the wolf would win. And at the end of the day, Mother Nature has created the perfect predator and always Mother Nature wins. So folks, what is the answer? Would a dog win or would a wolf win? Well, if it was a large North American male timber wolf, some of the largest wolves that you can get on planet Earth, and it wasn't injured, tethered, or harnessed in any way by a person, and it was a singular wolf against a singular Kangol dog, the biggest and the heaviest and the most powerful of the guarding breeds, then I think the wolf would win. However, if it was one of his smaller cousins, like the Iranian wolf or the Arabic wolf, then the Kangal dog would win every single time. So when you see these videos, they're not always what you think they are. When you see these large dogs taking down wolves, they're usually the very smaller cousins of the North American timber wolf. But a large North American timber wolf will outcompete any dog on the planet any day if it was singular one-to-one -one combat. Now if you enjoyed my video make sure to give me a big thumbs up in the box below and subscribe to my channel by pressing that little icon down there in the right hand corner. Please do it now and I promise to bring you some fantastic films every week on wolves, wolf dogs, animal rescue and wildlife in general. Bye for now!